Let me tell you a little story about a man named Gerald Ford. Born in Omaha, Nebraska on July 14, 1913, he would become the only president in history never elected president or vice president. While he was born Leslie Lynch King Jr., his mother remarried and changed his name to that of her new husband, Gerald Ford. As a boy, he joined the Boy Scouts of America, earning the highest rank of Eagle Scout. In 1934, he graduated from the University of Michigan. While he was offered a professional football career with the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers, he decided to attend Yale Law School. At 35, he married Elizabeth Bloomer Warren and together raised four children. He worked as a lawyer, Navy man, and served in the House of Representatives. In 1973, Ford became the first minority leader to succeed the vice presidency after Spiro Agnew resigned. A year later, following the resignation of Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford was sworn in as the nation's 38th president. During his years in office, he ended the Vietnam War, established special education in schools, and in one of the most controversial acts of his presidency, pardoned Richard Nixon for his role in the Watergate scandal. During his presidency, he faced two assassination attempts. Neither time was Ford injured. On December 26, 2006, Gerald Ford died at the age of 93, living longer than any U.S. president in history. And there you go, a little story about a man named Gerald.